check his holes for a second to stock up on items. The only thing is, you're not limited to doing this one per person, once per person. It's one per once per person per time the map is loaded or something like that. Back out. Oh. Onion! Oh my, I'm touched. I'm too okay. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I like saving. Saving is my friend. Who's this lady? Hi, lady. Thanks. How much money do I have now? Yeah, 21. Not bad. So. I'm, I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Gina, it's you. Kutinawa, why are you here? I'm on top secret mission. What about you? Uh, I'm in a bit of trouble, actually. My friends and I need to get across the bridge. Friends? Huh, they're not from Izuho. They're from Silverant. Sorry to everyone. This is a friend from Izuho. His name's Kuchinawa. Shina and I grew up together. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. I'll go talk to the people in the laboratory. Let's go along and listen, too. That's insane! What's wrong? Listen to this. They want us to cross the sea in an elemental cargo. Element what? Elemental cargo, typically called EC. It's a compact transport vehicle controlled by X-Spheres. Maximum load weight is 1,400 kilograms, and maximum speed is more than three times faster than an upgraded X-Sphere-equipped carriage. They are, currently, they are currently used primarily by shipping companies for delivery services. Hey, what are we, packages? The elemental cargo absorbs mana from the atmosphere and ejects it into the air, producing a counter-reaction that propels it forward. So if we use Undine for that, we can get an EC that can surf. Surf. Isn't there any other way? The bridge is closed. You don't have the necessary identification to use an ocean liner. And on top of that, there are two half-elves with you. Not that again. That's the kind of world Tetheala is. We too hardly ever get to leave this building. I wonder why everyone can't get along. Ah, uh, well, there's no point in getting all gloomy. So, will you make that modified EC for us? If you wait a day, we will have it ready. Okay, well then, let's go rest in my mansion. The Pope's minions aren't going to be waiting for us there, right? We're going to have to spend the night in this city, so it doesn't matter where we are, it'll still be dangerous. Yeah, I guess you're right. My mansion is in the nobles' quarter to the right of Castle Tetheala. It's a conspicuously big building, so you can't miss it. Yeah, it is pretty conspicuously big. Hi. Yeah, I know, I'm still hitting on you. Oh, you're a guy. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Lab quotes are impractical, I can't tell from the back. Yeah, I'm also gonna talk to her. Hi, lady. Oh. Fine, be that way. with Celos is pretty practical. On this side, you've made summoned spirits into research subjects as well, correct? Yes. In order to use mana's energy, it's most efficient to study the summoned spirits themselves. Fascinating. In what way are these entities known as summoned spirits created, and what effect do they have on the world? I oppose summoned spirit research. Oh, why? I just do. Grin suffered painful experiences during the experimental stages. Oh, that's right. Corinne is a man-made summon spirit. Fascinating. Uh-oh. Run for it! Come back here this instant! Uh. There we go. Now we're gonna go to his house. This conspicuously big, he means it by the way. Hi, you. So, do you too. You know, it's this one. Yeah, that one. That seems better. So conspicuously big. Welcome home, chosen one. Yo, I'm back. Anything happened while I was gone? I was instructed by the Pope and an emissary of His Majesty Tetheala the 18th to report as soon as the chosen returned. You can just ignore that. 
Yes, sir. Uh, and who is the guest with the two swords? Fine, bud. Just make yourselves at home. If there's anything you need, sir, bud, please speak to me. My name's not Bud. Now it is. We can talk to everyone here. Uh, I like a lot of the places where you get to talk to people. It doesn't matter who you speak to here uh, first, so. Order. Oh, it smells nice. What? Is it weird for me to be looking at flowers? Yes, yes it is. He said that this fireplace ignites by one touch. What's one touch? Mylene Wilder. It seems this is a part of Zealous's mother. My face. These presents are tributes for my honeys. Oh, it's so hard being popular. Yeah, I bet. Uh, where are the others? I think we're supposed to talk to the guy once we're done here. Yeah, there we go. I say, I, 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 you're pretty. Pretty? What's that? I, I, I'm complimenting you. I see. Then you're p p pretty too. <laughs> oh, I love this AR. She's amazing. Anyway, we could talk to. Um. Yeah. I, oh wait, no. There's uh. I think there's chef somewhere. I am the mysterious gourmet, the wonder chef, blah blah blah. Free cocktail. Thank you. Hello. Will you be retiring to bed now? Yes. I don't have anything else to do here. Okay then, let's go to the Elemental Research Laboratory. What? What's wrong? Oh, uh, I think I slept wrong. My shoulder feels stiff. Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. That was that. Alrighty, let's go. Welcome back, everything's ready. Where's the EC? Kuchinawa carried it away already. Kuchinawa got it? What? I thought Kuchinawa had talked to you about it, but I guess he didn't. Go to the artificial beach on the right side of the Grand Tetheala Bridge. Kuchinawa should be waiting there. Also, take this with you. What's this? What do you mean, what's this? It's a wing pack. You throw the EC in it. In this? Is the elemental cargo that small? Ah, I see. They don't have wing packs in Silverant. Man, you guys are a bunch of country folk. Jeez, sorry. <laughs> Don't get mad now. I'll show you how to use it later. Come on, let's get going. Wait just a second. Come on, come on out, Corrin. We're going to be gone for a while. Say goodbye to everyone. Alright, they aren't going to do any more weird experiments on you. Corrin, how have you been? Look after Sheena for us. I hate this place. I have Sheena, so I won't be lonely. Corrin, don't talk like that. Goodbye. Uh, I get Corrin still hates us. Gucci. There you go. Oh. Man, I can't wait to board the EC. Lloyd sure is carefree about this. No kidding. It's ridiculous that we're going to be riding over the ocean something that was designed as a land vehicle. You think so? It sounds a lot more li liable than those wash tubs. Wash tubs? No way. Don't tell me that in Silverant you cross the ocean on wash tubs. Ugh, just thinking about those wash tubs is making me sick. Poor rain. Ah, thank you. I don't have to do that again. I don't think I'm ever going to step in there again. Ever, except maybe to get the mimic if I ever want to, but it's right near the entrance, so. Alrighty, so. Kuchinawa should be waiting for us at the bottom of the right staircase. Okay, then let's go.
the gate that was locked is it is locked. Ah, oh, you're right. I'll take care of it. There we go. Wow, Lord, you're amazing. At least he's useful for, for, for certain things. His face loses it on to mine, though. What has my face got to do with anything? You can see the bridge. Oh, you're right. Are those decoration-looking things X-Fears? That's right, Colette. That bridge is operated by X-Fears. Bit gross-looking. It certainly is grotesque, although knowing where X-Fears come from, I'm not sure it's appropriate to describe them that way. You're right. I don't know why they call this an artificial beach, by the way, because that, that doesn't look like a beach. It's concrete. Beaches aren't concrete, man. Took you long enough. This is the EC. Okay, Lloyd, try using that pack you just got. Let's see, like this? Whoa! Wow, that's incredible! Wow, how does it work? Why do I feel like I've seen this before? Ah, uh, nothing. See? Fits inside. It disappeared! It's amazing! This is so cool! Let's try bringing it back out. Wow, it came back out! That's enough goofing around. How about getting on your way? Yeah. Alright, I can't wait to make use of this easy. This is great! You know, you'll just get bored with it in no time. Yay, we get to go out to sea! We're going to sea, aren't we? Get going then, off to Cybac. Nina, take this with you. Protective charm? Yes, be careful. I don't even remember what that does. I think it's a key item, but. Mundina! I'll let me just plug in my boat to my seven spirit. Alright, now this one. for then I know what I'm doing. Well, decide back to see the sail. Kratos! Are you trying to take Colette away? I have no intention of fighting you inside the city. still lack the skills to defeat me. Don't insult me! I merely speak the truth. Chosen one, if you wish to live, you must remove that worthless key crest. No, I'm never taking it off. Lloyd gave this to me. Foolish sentiments. He wasn't after Colette? Man. What an arrogant SOB. Talking as if he knows everything. While we're on the subject of ways of talking, why don't you do something about the vulgar language? <laughs> anyway, Lloyd, we must go see this Kate person. Yeah, let's get going. Yeah, it's good talking to everyone. Also, I'm gonna switch back to Colet real quick because. Puppy! Chappy! Hello. It's you! 
we've saved our, saved our friends and came back with Persea just like we promised. Yes, you're right. The strange manner produced by the fusion of elven and human blood. You really do have half-elf friends. I've heard the story. Persea is creating a crucial crystal inside her body? Yes, that's correct. We call it the Angelus Project. The Angelus Project? That's the project my mom was involved in. The expert itself is nothing special. It just has a special key crest placed on it. This key crest delays the Exfer's parasitic process, which can take place over a few days or up to several decades. It seems that this can cause Exfer's to mutate into Crucius crystals. Is the parasitic influence uh, ah, is the parasitic infection of the Exfer the reason why Perseus' emotional response is so subdued? So she's just like Colette. If we leave Perseus like this, what will happen to her? When the parasitic process is complete, she will die. That's horrible. Please save her. What did she ever do to you? Nothing. She hasn't done anything. She just matched the in the compatibility test. You promised you're going to save her, right? Yes, I know. You didn't discriminate against half-elves. I'll keep my promise. Kate, are you sure? If you do that, you'll... Promise is a promise. In order to save Perseia, speak to a dwarf named Altessa who lives deep in Gauracha Forest. Is there are dwarves in this world too? Yes, he and I participated in this experiment by the order of the Pope. Yeesh, not a pathetic old man again. Don't call him a pathetic old man. Oh my, that's unusual. Half of siding with the Pope? I'm not siding with him. Anyway, have, a, have Altessa repair Persea's key crest. Chloe, oh, can't you fix it? To be honest, I can't even tell the difference between this and a normal key crest. I'd probably, it'd probably be faster to search for that dwarf, Altessa. Then it's settled. Shall we head for Gauracha Forest? Yeah, though could there be a connection between the Pope and the designs? Yes, I'm wondering about that too. Dun dun dun. Anyway, with that, that we're back out. Next stop, Altessa. Finally, get to go to the forest where Zealous didn't want us to go before. I like how long it didn't take them for uh, to go from Azelos watching us to Zealous just being like, Hi, I'm kind of on the run too now. Whoa, this place is creepy. Wow, it's dark. Like, you're awfully cheery. <laughs> Sorry. She's excited, okay? She likes forests. I don't know. Whoops, it's the Papal Knights. Zealous, the Chosen, you're in the way of the Pope. <laughs> I've known that since I was a kid. Then that makes things simple. It is time for you to die. Enemies. People nice I'm so cool. We won, but what are we going to do now? What else? Before they bring in reinforcements, we'll get the heck out of here, but to where? Perhaps Altessa's place? Exactly! Perhaps there's this talk to now. Uh. Alright, the gimmick of this place is kind of funny. Hey! The summit emits light! It's like a lamp! What do we use it for? The forest is dark, so there may be some plants that react strongly to light. But they don't react to fire, just light. That rhyme. 
No, that's not where I wanted to go. Watch me get lost two seconds into this place. The thing is, if we stand in uh, light, you'll see the gauge at the top uh, left go up. I'm gonna get it to the top so that I don't have to recharge too often after. The Gar Atra Forest used to be just a normal forest a long time ago. Oh, really? But then one day, a thief hid a stolen treasure deep in the forest. Treasure? What kind of treasure? It was a jewel worth several billion gold. But anyway, he slaughtered everyone who came looking for it. Whoa, that's horrible. Over time, the forest became stained with blood, transforming into a cursed place haunted by the lingering resentment of the people killed here. Ugh, are you serious? Uh, you're just trying to scare us, right? Even now, when travelers enter the forest, the thief's ghost comes to kill them. And the ones he killed also seek to increase their numbers. Yeesh, ah! not even three-year-olds believe stories like that these days. Ah, as well as you're an asshole. Oh yeah, alright, I don't care about that one for now. Uh, I don't remember you which direction I came in from. <laughs> Here. Uh, this is how this stuff works. Oh, I see. Not. Yeah, I got stuck in the loop. This place uh, has some passages that lead to nowhere and just loop around. To get the angle right. Oh, there we go. Ribbon. Alright, uh, that one I think we have to liquid flames. I did not think this through. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. this off. Just this chest looks different than the previous ones. We're not going to be able to open it yet because it's locked. What is this thing? It won't open. It's sealed by some type of power. You shouldn't fiddle with it. I don't like the looks of it. We're going to get a key to access several several chests like this. Here. Go down, sir. Not sure, I'll have to check later. 
I don't like that they change it. In the GameCube version, the Sword Dancer was a black skull and not a white skull, so it was really easy to um, pull apart. And of course, I don't have a memory gem. Okay, I'm gonna kill stuff until I find one. There, oh, thank you, awesome. try to get as many of the chests in and I think I'm well, almost all of them. That do that. This is big. Okay, screw that. I'm done exploring here. Save and check if that is the Sword Dancer. If it is, I'm going to try it just for laughs, but notice that we're level 30. It's recommended to be around level 50 for that Sword Dancer, so... I have fun time. Yeah, there we go. Fight, fight, fight. Fighting is everything. I remember reason, my, my reason this. Strong one, fight me. You're on. Wage your life and come. We're gonna get owned. This is going to be an arduous battle. Oh shit, I forgot the let me see. Uh I think my physical atta physical attacks are doing one damage, yeah. <gasps> oh, this is how under leveled I am for this fight. Watch me. I'm just gonna let him die. I think he has something like 30,000 health. Come on, Colette. I'm sorry, everyone. How dare you. Anyway, that was Sword Dancer Part 2. Your level of power is not enough to restore myself. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, Sword Dancer. Pretty fun, huh? I am... still gonna put rain in, but instead... Yeah, that sounds good. Hear something. Footsteps from far away. I don't hear anything. Colette still has her angel senses. They're definitely footsteps. Also, the sound of clinking armor. There are lots of them. It's coming from that direction. That can't be good. Altessa lives over there. Could it be more of the same guys from earlier? I'll send Corinne out to scout. Tokyo sewer. Man, it's just one thing after another with the Pope. Am I really that much of a problem to him? I do not wish to fight you, Corinne. I just want to speak with that girl. With Prisea? You've got to be kidding. Or did you forget that you tried to kill us? I cannot speak for any others. However, I, at least, never intended to take your lives. My orders were to retrieve a girl named Colette. Me? I will do you no harm. Prisea is her name, correct? Please, let me speak with her. An X-Sphere. You are 
yet another victim? But Thea is in danger. I don't know what the heck is going on, but we have to stop this guy. We have no choice but to fight. Oh shit! Forgot I don't have any ma magic lenses. Great. That was super hard fight though. I think. He hits pretty hard, but he doesn't have much health, so we're good. Oh, look at that grade. I think 10 is the maximum you can get in this game. For fight. Owned. He sounds like he has reasons for his actions. Perhaps we should take him prisoner? I'm sure he has much to tell us. Getting louder. Uh, shouldn't we get out of here? But the Papal Knights are waiting for us if we go back. It looks like we have no choice. I'll take you to the village of Mizuho. Whoa there, Shima. Isn't Mizuho a hidden village kept secret from outsiders? But we'll be trapped from both sides if we don't do something. There's nothing we can do but take shelter in the village. Okay. Please show us the way, Shima. Zella, carry the big guy for us. You want me to carry this ogre by myself? Are you kidding me? Here, I'll help. Zealous will have a hard time by himself. Aw, oh, you're so nice, Colette. We Chosens have to look out for each other, right? Yeah. Oh, he's lighter than I thought. I can carry him myself. Huh, I see. Men are so useless these days. Come on, we need to go. Go, Colette. Hey. I wonder what Mizuho is like. According to what I've heard, the buildings are made out of gold. Wow, it must be really bright and hard to see. Yeah, I bet it is. I also heard that men are called samurai and women are called geisha. Then Sheena's a geisha too. And me and the professor too. No, no, I heard that girls are called Maiko. I see, so I'm a Maiko. So Genus and I are samurai. <laughs> this is kind of fun. You're all weeaboos. Where in Gauracha Forest is this Mizuho village? I can't tell you that. We'll be there soon anyways. Just be patient. I see you Mizuho people are as secretive as ever. It's to protect our unique, unique culture. If you don't like it, you can wait in the forest. You've got to be kidding. I'll pass on being left behind in the forest of death. The odds of surviving alone in Garacha Forest, 25%. Ouch, don't say stuff like that, Prisea. You'll be fine. You look like the type that just won't die. I'll second that. What? You know what they say? Pretty boys die young. Incorrect usage detected. Correction necessary. Prisea! <laughs> anyway, let's save after that. And Mizuho.
He's who hosts the village of Japan. He said it wasn't obvious enough already. Sheena, what is the meaning of this? How could you bring outsiders into the village? I am prepared to accept my punishment. Inform the vice chief. I've brought the travelers from Silveron. From Silverant? You are from the dying world of Silverant? Well, except for me. I see. Sheena, come with me. The rest of you, wait in front of the chief's house. Prisoner, and don't try anything funny. I like to think that I'm smart enough not to start trouble when I don't understand the situation. Alrighty, let's see what we have to do here again. Good to talk to people, Zell is brought to do that a little later. As is, we're to. The Vice Chief is ready to see you. Travelers from Silveron, you may enter. Thank you. Our leader, Chief Igaguri, is ill. I, the Vice Chief, Taiga, shall speak on his behalf. Because Sheena failed to kill you, we, the people of Mizuho, now face persecution from the Teteala royal family and the Church of Martell. Is that true? Yes, at least from what I've heard. Now I have a question. People of Silveron, what do you plan to do in Teteala, the land of your enemies? I've been thinking about that for a long time. Someone asked me why I came all the way to Teteala, what it is that I want to do. I want a world where everyone can have a normal life. I'm tired of people having to become sacrifices. I'm tired of discrimination. I'm tired of people becoming victims. I'm tired of it all. You are an idealist. The worlds of Tetheala and Silveron flourish only by victimizing the other. So long as that structure remains the same, anything you say is mere sophistry. Then we need to change that structure. This world was made by that Yggdrasil guy, right? If a human or elf built this, then we should be able to change it as well. <laughs> you speak like the hero, Mythos. He was a sublime idea. He ended the ancient war by insisting there was a way for the two warring countries to coexist in peace. Are you saying you can become the next Mythos? I'm not Mythos. I want to save the two worlds my way, with the help of my friends. I see. In other words, you aren't worried about following past methods. Well then, we shall search for a new path as well. Vice Chief, do you mean... Yes, we will use our information network to aid you. In return, when the path of prosperity for both worlds has been found, we wish to move our people to Silveron. But I don't have any right to decide something like that. All we need is for you to aid us in our move. Is everyone okay with us joining forces with the people of Mizuho? If it will change the relationship of the two worlds. Well, it doesn't sound like a bad deal. Let's hurry up and decide so we can go rescue Persea. As long as Tetheala is safe, I don't care what you guys do. Okay then, it's settled. We're going to look for a way to change the two worlds. Let's work together. Agreed. Then I hereby order Sheena to continue to accompany you. This time, however, not just as an observer, but as a representative. Make us proud. Yes, sir. But Taiga, you sure you want to turn the royals and the church against you like that? How about if I ask? Given a choice between the forces which wish to sacrifice one of the worlds and the force that wishes to preserve both worlds, which would you side with? I'd like to say the one that's likely to win, 
but I suppose I'd want to help the side that wants to preserve both worlds. Exactly. Now the first thing we shall do is devote all our resources to locating the Riard. Fortunately, it appears that Sheena attached a guardian to the Riard, so we should be able to locate them shortly. Understood. Thank you for your help. Is he for real? What's your name? Regal. Regal, huh? I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to keep you prisoner for a bit longer. Floyd, how about letting Pops here fight too? Even though he might betray us? He has business with Persea, right? And he's not going to try anything before he gets a chance to speak with her, you know? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rain? I don't know about this, but I won't make a fuss. I also started off as your enemy. Well, will you fight alongside us for now? All right. I swear upon my good name and these shackles that bind me, I shall not betray you. If you do anything, even the slightest bit suspicious, I'll burn you to a crisp. Got it? Well then, welcome to our group, Regal. Like the slight difference in tone between Cola and Genus. So that's that. Go we'll talk to the puppy. I think there's only one puppy here. Piggy. Anyway, is there any other puppies I need to talk to, or? I hope they can find the Riards. Riso's intelligence network is nothing to sneeze at. They'll find them for sure. Yeah, I've heard some incredible stuff about the Mizuho intelligence network. Supposedly, they know the location of all the treasures in Teteala. You bet. When we really want to, there's nothing we can't find out. Sounds like a great thing to have on our side. I wonder if they could research the measurements of all the girls in Teteala for me. You stupid chosen. Yeah, the just are in a shift from people hitting genus to hitting pe to people hitting zealous now, and not a bad change in my opinion. Anyway, first. For the Wonder Chef. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Ramen, of course. Your name is Prisea, correct? About your family. Hey, get away from her! I apologize, so you're her little knight. Don't make fun of me, I've got magic, you hear me? Venus. But what is it? Don't worry, I'll protect you. He bears no hostility, there's no need for combat. Ah, oh. Also, I have no need for your protect. Oh. <laughs> Burn! Who got rejected? Anyway, we're gonna buy stuff. Including some, uh, magic lens. We're gonna buy one Mizuho po potion, because I'm going to need one for a quest later. And... Oh, we're doing pretty good other stuff. How are the weapons? Pretty damn good. Uh, I should probably get a couple. Yeah. I want card of wind, I believe. So expensive. Alright. Eagle, what are you wearing? Sure, 
you're welcome. Oh, not the one I want. There you go. Why do you keep those handcuffs on? These are the symbol of my crime. The crime symbolized by handcuffs? I know! You're a handcuff thief! Oh, that's not it? Uh, then you ran around causing trouble by putting handcuffs on people? I'm sorry, I suppose I should have said it in a way that was easier to understand. <laughs> Lloyd! <laughs> there we go, that's the one I wanted. What was that? Th Zealous was lying to us the whole time. It was a little unusual, but still just a regular village. I was super excited about it and wounded being so disappointed. Yeah, I wanted to see the flying carp. Yeah, I wanted to see those flowers that bloom when you sprinkle ash on them. Yeah, I wanted to visit the underwater castle that you ride a turtle to. That stupid chosen. Why kind of stories has he been feeding them? Ta-da! <laughs> I don't know if it's actually any good. Uh, no, I'll stay with the castle over for now. So yeah, that was... Best kit ever, am I right? Ugh. Now we're gonna leave. It seems the pursuers have left the forest. You should hurry. Alright, let's head for Altessa's place right away. I want to go home to my village. Alright, was that first then? Yes, Priscilla's parents were probably worried about her. We should have had to Ozette. So, Ozette it is. 